What is up everybody, Scape211 here. Today we are looking at this beautiful new floating fortress. This is Vortex, a new tank in the game. It is awesome to see some new tanks come into the game to go against this crazy sniper meta. Uh, so let's take a look at him overall. If we look at his general stats to start, he is very similar as a legendary tank to Bastion, right? He has 24 energy max. His HP is slightly under Bastion by about 20k. Not a whole lot overall. His speed is the same, all that kind of stuff. Where he differentiates himself insanely, in my opinion. And what makes him so good is his ability. This is the Nanobot field. It does a few different things when you get it. And uh, here's the write-up, but I'll summarize. He gets a speed boost. And anything within the radius, because this radius stays around him, um, will damage enemies continuously or slowly, like a damage tick. And it will give a damage reduction to himself and teammates. This is all the insane part, all right? Uh, if we look at the stats of his ability his speed increase that he gets is 100 percent this is nuts like he goes from 18 km to 36 which is faster than anything else in the game crazy all right only last eight seconds but faster than anything else in the game all right the field damage is not that much not that high not something that you really need to worry a whole lot about but the field damage reduction is minus 50 percent all right, so he gets a massive speed boost, boost, boost. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Uh, and he, he himself and anyone in his field as a teammate gets a 50% reduction. This is flat across all. That doesn't even change no matter the level you get him at. So insanely powerful ability. Um, the only issue, in my opinion, would be the actual radius of his field. It is pretty tiny, okay? Um, so the idea of increasing it, even if you were to use a legendary implant, which he does have one, which increases the radius of this, uh, I think it's only about 30%. So that's maybe like 15, 16 meters. It's very small. Um, but I would say if you're with teammates and you do a dedicated push or you time it really well with a teammate, especially with someone faster, this can be a big, big push or a big thing in team play, as well as the fact that like with his speed boost and him getting the damage reduction himself as a solo tank, even that he's very solid. I love the ability uh, and, and the design of it because it means it's not super OP. It's not like 30 meters going to 45 meters, but at the same time, it means that he can benefit from it. And if you are in good team play, they can benefit from it as well. I really think that this kind of like support tank that actually is good on his own is really, really effective. So I want to show you some gameplay of it where I uh, try it at its more natural star rating and then max out and you will see just how awesome this guy is. So here we go. All right, not a bad one. So uh, I decided to go with carbines for this one. And I'm actually just going to show you right away just how fast this guy is. Look at how quickly we can get to center with this. This is insane to me. All right. Um, now, I don't even have a crazy build for this one. Uh, just, uh, uh, you know, a decent one. Although this, you, you do get this mech at the uh, eighth tier, the final tier. So it's not like he's not going to have a good build. But I tried to give him something that was decent, but also something, I don't know, I just, I haven't played with carbines in a long time, so I just felt like doing that for fun this time. But I think even with this, he should be able to do well. As I have been playing, I've played a few matches with it. It's It's been decent. Um, I probably get, uh, you know, seven to nine-ish kills, roughly, in that area. Even though carbines are not as good as they used to be, they're still a decent weapon, I feel like. That speed and that damage reduction, man. This does take a long time to kill stuff with carbs, though. <laughs> you can you can tell why they fell off the the meta and their DPS and stuff like that. But, dude, okay, go right ahead. Dude, okay, which way are you going? Pick a direction, please. It'd be great. Oh, you can see right there. Even though I was just annoyed by that guy, you can see the visual when he's yeah right there. When he's oh no, when he's uh, close and within the radius. They get kind of that diamond shape around them. And then, of course, when enemies are in the radius, you will see the damage tick. Um, I don't want to push, though, because I'm trying to play smartly with my carbs. But yeah, I, I, I feel like it, yeah, with the speed, able to trigger them and back off. Um, I feel like it, it's just, even though that radius is small, like I was saying before, 
uh, still a useful bonus. Uh, and if you tar if you set it up like with players, it could be really effective. But even without that aspect of it, just the benefit to yourself of the damage reduction and the speed boost for a tank to have that level of flexibility. Oh my gosh, it's just so useful. Like this guy is, I just, I like him a lot. I personally, I like his playstyle and overall feel better than Bastion. Um, but I've also liked uh, Ares better than Bastion. So I guess that means I would be using both of these, these guys instead of Bastion. Uh, even though Bastion is still a great and aggressive tank and he makes a lot of sense, I, I think just like personally, I, I enjoy this style better. No, okay, I thought he was gonna get me. It is crazy how like awesome the speed boost is and then when you don't have it, it feels like a crawl because the speed that you get with this is just nuts. No, okay, I thought he was gonna get me. <laughs> I'm running so close to dead here now. But even if we don't make it, we'll, uh, we're still doing good. Like I said, hit that, that, uh, marker right now of the, oh, we might get another one, of the seven to nine kills. And there we go. Now we're over the seven to nine. I might even use this video. <laughs> Surprisingly with carbines. I actually did try this with a couple different other weapons. The difficulty is, like, trying to find something that fits with where this is on the gear hub without getting something too crazy and, and at 18 energy there's not like the greatest of options in my opinion but this is this has been working quite well nice here we go did have to bounce around a little bit but with his speed boost man he handles it well that was really good i was happy with that I, especially with the carbs Definitely a solid one to go on. All right, so um, let's uh, let's boost this guy up and see how he does at max. Next. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this map, but we got our max build here. Uh, I'm using the Storm Racks, so this one should be interesting. Uh, one thing I don't know if I talked about is his implants for this is really just the uh range on this and then the damage um from his uh damage that he would do to opponents so i would say to, for me personally i'm not crazy about either implant um as much as i think boosting the radius is very nice it's such a small radius oh my gosh i'm surprised i landed like none of those okay there we go um and then we almost got that guy. So that was took it. Uh, the the radius is just so small, and the benefit that you get from this, from 12 to like what 15 meters, is just so minute. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, here we go. I love though that like I'm using a tank, and I'm at their like you know home base or back line. I feel like I'm running a scout that I can push with. But you could be so much more aggressive because you have a lot more HP. And you also have damage reduction in these speed bursts. You know, it's just like, it feels incredible to me. I just, I think it's really, really neat. I also love that he's a little hovery box guy. Woo! I think it's just, is cool for his design. It's kind of a fun design. It's not like as cool as other ones, but I am interested to see what kind of skins this guy will produce though. All right, now we can be a little more crazy and aggressive, I think. Let's try. Oh, I almost got that guy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no. Shields. Okay. Let's do a sweep across here. No. Oh, thank you for the shield. Perfect timing. Dude, look at all this mayhem this thing is doing. Oh, it's so good. I mean, part of that is, of course, the storm racks, but being able to float very quickly from one position to the next like that, so useful. And again, that damage reduction where, yeah, I could pop out like that didn't take very much damage at all. It's just insane. Like, the capability this guy is going to have. He definitely feels meta-worthy to me. Top tier type of dude. <clears throat> I'm definitely excited to see a more tank-driven meta. We've had so many good scouts having some solid tanks like this and Aegis. 
and already having Bastion come into play like for a lot more hangers is pretty cool to me. Oh, maybe we can get this guy. Uh, nope, somebody else got him. That's all right. We got we got quite a few though. That was pretty solid. A lot of like back shots and stuff too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this dude is a monster. The flexibility, the capability, the overall usefulness of his ability, so awesome. Really enjoying it for sure. And that is it, you guys. As you can see, it's crazy that you can feel like this guy moves and plays like a scout in some aspects uh, and other aspects as a tank and then also as just a general team player. There's just so much potential in the way this guy can play. He's just a very versatile but strong tank. He definitely seems like he's going to be someone that you will see as meta. I, I'm saying it right now. I, I think he's meta worthy even on his own. Even if these stats were just, you know, boost onto himself, he will be viable. But since it also benefits your team, even more so and for like actual like 5v5 combat with real players uh it seems viable to me i really think he you know is in the top meta and a contender for it but you guys can let me know what you think do you think this guy is good um or do you think he is not so good feel free to comment below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield